Okay, my family, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us, teach us, and guide us in all truth and understanding. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name. Um, the Lord put upon my heart to continue with my spiritual warfare series. And um, the part we are up to is number four, I believe. And it is spiritual warfare, um, praise and worship. Okay. If we incorporate worship and praise into our daily prayers and we sing words of praise on our way to battle, it is important that every day we put on the full armor of God. It is important that we seek God in the morning and we seek God throughout the day and in the evening. Remember, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. When we sing worship and praise to the Lord, it brings God into our environment. It brings stability and balance into our daily lives. It strengthens our spirit. Praise and worship gets us into God's presence, and during spiritual warfare, this is exactly where we need to be. Our focus is not on the battle or on the enemy, but on God. When King Jehoshaphat called the entire nation of Judah together to seek the Lord in wartime, he placed a praise choir in front of the army. They had heard from God and were headed into the battle, but they weren't rebuking evil spirits or casting out demons, and they weren't telling God what the battle strategy was. They we're praising God. And basically what they were doing is they were surrendering to his will be done in his perfect timing and praising him for they knew that his ways were so much higher than theirs and that he would work all things out for the good of those who loved him and were called into his service. In spiritual warfare, we also have the weapon of worship. Our surrendered worship takes us out of control and allows us to give us to give everything over to God. It positions us to listen and respond to God's voice. Meditation on the Word of God will bring strength to our spirit man and equip us with power to stand in the times of spiritual warfare. Two Chronicles 20, Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir defeated. It happened after this that the people of Moab and the people of Ammon and others with them besides the Ammonites came to battle against Jehoshaphat. Then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria, and they are in Hazan Tamar. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all of Judah. So Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord, and from all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven, and do you not rule over all kingdoms and all nations? In your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you. Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? And they dwell in it and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple and in your presence and cry out to you, in our affliction, and you will hear and save. And now here are the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, and they turned from them and did not destroy them. Here they are rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. O oh God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do. 
but our eyes are set upon you. Now, all of Judah, with their little ones, their wives, their children, stood before the Lord. Then in the spirit of the Lord came of Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benai, the son of Jael, the son of Matani, a Levite, the son of Asaph, in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Listen, all of you of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, because of the great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of your Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Then the Levites of the children of the Kohites and the children of the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with voices loud and high. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And they went out. Jehoshaphat said, Stood here, hear me, O Judah, and your inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. And when he consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord, and who should praise the beauty of holiness. And they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end to the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. Isn't that beautiful? The Lord God said to his people to stand. Okay? And they stand and they held up his banner in faith, not in fear. And the Lord God turned the armies that were coming against them against each other. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Let me continue on now. So when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked towards the multitude, and there were dead bodies fallen on the earth everywhere. No one had escaped. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away their spoil, they found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies and precious jewelry, jewelry which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away and they were three days gathering the spoil because there was so much and on the fourth day they assembled in the valley of Barak Barak Baraka for they blessed the Lord therefore the name of that place was called the valley of Baraka until this day then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem with Jehoshaphat in front of them to go back to Jerusalem with joy, for the Lord had made them rejoice over their enemies. So they came to Jerusalem with strings and instruments and harps and trumpets to the house of the Lord, and the fear of God was on all the kingdoms and those countries when they heard that the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel. Then the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet, for God gave them rest all around. There's coming a time when we will have insur seemingly insurmountable odds around us. People will turn upon us from everywhere. And in those days, God wants us not to look to our problems or to our enemies, but he wants us to focus on God. He wants us to sing praises and give glory to the Most High. 
He wants us to surrender to him and trust in him. For we are his children, and he is our God. He shall never leave us nor forsake us. I put in a couple of songs. One of them was I Surrender All underneath. It says, I surrender all, all to Jesus. I surrender all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him. In his presence, daily live. All to Jesus I surrender, humbly at his feet I bow. Worldly pleasures all forsaken. Take me, Jesus, take me now. I surrender all, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender. Make me Savior, holy thine. Let me fill thy Holy Spirit, truly know thou art mine. All to Jesus I surrender. Lord, I give myself to thee. Fill me with thy love and power. Let thy blessings fall on me. All to Jesus I surrender. Now I feel the sacred flame. Oh, the joy of full salvation. Glory, glory to his name. And another song that I like to give praise to the Lord, and it never fails to bring tears to my eyes, is shout to the Lord. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promises I have in you. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. It's important that we give glory to the Lord in all things. And when we are being attacked and when we are in the valley, that is when it is most importantly to do so. Because it brings God into our presence and he lifts us up. And he gives strength to our spirit. So, I will continue on with these series. Many things are going on in our world right now. And we are in battle. So make sure that when you wake up every morning, that you put on the full armor of God. That you give some time of the day to worship the Lord so he may strengthen your spirit. When we can sit in our prayer closet and give worship to the Lord, he strengthens us. When we surrender it all to the Lord and give him permission to move in our lives, he will never fail us. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I thank you, Father God, for all that I have, the many blessings that I have. I ask you to place your holy fire hedge of protection round about me and my family on all sides, far above us and far below us. I pray for those who cannot pray for themselves. I pray for my neighbors. I pray for my loved ones, for my relatives and my brethren and their children. I pray you would give them their own hedge of protection round about them and their families on all sides, far above them and far below them. I pray you would cover their home and their vehicles, their places of work and worship, their pets and provisions, their children, their schools, and their daily activities. I pray that those who come to you, dear Lord, and pray to you, that you would answer their prayers and show them that your hand is not too short to reach them in their time of need. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Holy, holy, holy is his name. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Adonai. 
and peace to all, the peace that only Jesus Christ can give. Amen and amen.